Hi, I'm Paul Pasulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at IvyMasters.com, and today we're going to look at the 13th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2. This is from the Blue Book app, the harder set of reading and writing questions. Number 13 reads, which finding of true would most directly support Paredes' argument? So, if you notice here, are what Paredes argued is right at the end. We're going to read through it, though. 20th century ethnographers made a concerted effort to collect Mexican-American folklore, but they did not always agree about the folklore's origin. Scholars such as Orlano Espinoza claim that Mexican-American folklore derived largely from the folklore of Spain, which ruled Mexico and what is now southwestern United States from the 16th to early 19th centuries. Scholars such as Americo Paredes by contrast, argued that while some Spanish influence is undeniable, Mexican-American folklore is mainly the product of the ongoing interactions of various cultures in Mexico and the United States. So if you notice, there's two parts to each of their argument. Number one is the time period, and number, number two is the origin. So Espinosa's like, hey, it's Spain, time period, 16th to early 19th century. Preddy's like, Oh no, it was happening then, it's happening now. It's ongoing interactions. And it's not just Spain, it's various cultures. The answer choice is going to have one or both of those things. So let's go to them. Answer is A. The folklore that ethnographers collected included several songs written in the folk in the form of the Sima, type of poem originating in the late 16th century Spain. So that is not pretty's. That is our friend Espinosa. Answer is B. Much of the folklore that ethnographers collected had civil, similar elements from region to region. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's a decent answer. And if, it, if you're thinking that, leave that there. Um, from region to region, maybe you're thinking uh, region to region would be like various cultures. We're really talking about the origin of it, not whether the folklore of the ethnographers are from are the same from region to region today. And choice C. Most of the folklore of, that the ethnographers collected was previously unknown to scholars. Just because they didn't know it before and they know it now. Um, that really doesn't tell us what time period it's from, 16th to early 19th century, or ongoing interactions. And choice D. Most of the folklore that the ethnographers collected consisted of corridos, ballads about history and social life of a clearly recent origin. So recent origin, that would imply ongoing interactions. And it doesn't really address whether it's from Spain or whether it's from lots of different places, but D is certainly your best answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty um, finding what supports somebody's argument. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one video on TikTok.